it's been brought to my attention that some people are struggling with higher difficulty levels, especially at the start. So here's modern, here's my one good tip that should help you get going. It's about city placement. So I will choose a save that doesn't really have any specific start bias. I think one of these should be like uh, maybe Gilgamesh, for example. And we will start a map on some default settings. So on DT, I think the AI gets three starting settlers. On Emperor, it, it gets two. Um, it shouldn't really matter for what you are doing, though. Your aim should be to get to three as soon as possible. And this brief guide will tell you how exactly and what to look for as soon as it loads, of course. Some starts are going to be better, some worse, but at least you'll know what to look for. Um, it might be not possible to get what you want, but at least you'll also learn how to, de how to distinguish good starts from bad ones. And this is a magnificent start. So, well, maybe. So the first thing you want to look for is the first six tiles you're going to be working immediately without any investment into um, monuments or workers. You're looking for two production tiles that can preferably also grow themselves um, by having two food. So in this particular case, as you can see, although the tiles are all jungle, we will actually struggle with this start. Now, one of the options is to settle on the olives, which will grant us a luxury resource, but then we have only one to two production tile. Oh no, even not that one. So we have zero such tiles here. So let me look a bit more up north. As you can see, we have such tiles up here. So I could, for example, settle a city right there. Now this wouldn't be a long-term ideal, ideal city placement, and of course you need to, you need to uh, take into consideration many factors for specific sieves and their requirements. However, in this particular case, this city will be the most productive one because why? If I settle it on this plains hill, I will have three two two tiles or better so i will have six production and two from the capital from the tile that's eight production from very very early in the game and i also have one bananas so i will actually eat and the second question that crops up is is it worth to move yes it is yes it is worth to move for getting your because see let's say i settle in place okay the best tile i can work is a two one so I will have luckily two production here and one production here, that's three. Um, but after that, I'm also again forced to work one production tiles, right? So even with three citizens, this production of this city will be one, two, three, four, five. And with this city up here with three citizens, it's going to be eight. So that's a, well, it's a, 60, 65% increase, I guess, in, a, in, in productivity just from settling your first city. So, of course, it's worth it to move two turns. And I'll do just that. I won't play this game to the end. I just want to show you how to... How to um, how to start it up. So, okay, now... I think we'll just stay here, right? And now we are working a two, a three-two tile and a two-two tile, and it's and, and and it's four production. And as you can see, we can get a scout in five turns. Why in five turns? Well, because it's thirty production. Um, if we could have gotten one more, uh, five no, maybe six. Oh, we we would need six production to 
in any case, you'll, you'll see it's going to work out. Um, so now what we are doing next is, and, and now you're free, now if you follow this logic, now you're free to actually tack up whatever you need for your, for your plan, right? If you want to go early writing, you can do that. If you want to go, I don't know, early archery, you can do that as well. If you want to go for an early religion, you can start on that too. You are not bound anymore by work returns, which is extremely important. So we're going to do this without any workers uh, being involved or any monuments. So let's say, for example, I want war cards, right? Because I'm Sumeria. But let's start for the scout because that's what's most typical. And we have some good... We have some good adjacencies here, so let's start with um, actually going for for a very, very early campus here. Okay, so now we have this city covered, and now what we are doing is scouting for the second city location. What we want to do with the second city is replicate what we just did, and there is our first city state. What we now want to do is replicate what we just did and find our second city location as soon as possible. I doubt it is going to be up north, so I need to go south. And now we are at population 7, and we have three city good tiles to work. So what I'm going to do next is actually build another war cart and grow up to this tile here, because it will also be 2-2. Okay, so this down here is a dead end. But we could, for example, in the future, plan a city like here. But this city would need investment, right? I would need to buy, I would need to buy this tile and this tile to make what I was talking about work. I'm not saying this would be a terrible city spot right here. It would be great, maybe for, I don't know, Petra city. But I would need to invest like one, almost 200 gold on getting these two tiles. And it's also prone to flooding. However, we do have, as Sumeria, we do have ziggurats, so this would be a pretty neat city location, but not for the second or third city. No. So we are still scouting for the second and third city location. If at all possible. Now I'm going to start on writing because why not? Oh. There's probably a barb camp up there. Yeah, it's so excited so the, the barb camp is cleared. That's that's fine. It used to be probably somewhere up there. Obviously you want your second and third cities to have fresh water. That's quite, quite natural. And... There we go, the water cart. Let's pull it down here. And now we can start, as you can see, now we are working all our good tiles. And we even grabbed the fourth one. So we could even grow even further, but it would take 11 turns to do so. So I'm, for right now, I am content that I can build a settler right now. Because I'm not going to profit from this tile so fast. So I'm going to go with a settler, which will take 8 turns. Right, so I'm using these eight turns to work these really, really good tiles, and I'm still looking for my second city location. Let's go with foreign trade. I don't know, it doesn't really matter now. I'm just trying to showcase this, and I don't see even a second. Oh, there we go, one more city state. Okay, so. This here is, wait, yeah, this here is our second city location. Why? Because it has two, four food, two production tiles, 
and also one very close here. And since this is an active volcano, this tile will probably turn into a stronger tile as well. It's not ideal, but it should be, it's the best we can see right now. Maybe there's something in the north, I don't know. Quite possibly could be. Yeah, the city is too close here. I can't, these are all good tiles, but I can't reach those. Not without purchasing tile. So, let's move the war card to the east. Like so. One builder unit. Now, I won't be using it just to, just to show you there is no point anyway. I can't bronze work anything. Oh, and I've accidentally finished writing. It's okay. I'm not playing this game seriously now. So three more turns for this settler. And now I'll go, I don't know, mining, I guess, and bronze working maybe. our preferred second city spot and maybe let's see what's what's going up here maybe we could settle a city like maybe like right here okay this could be our third at least we have one good tile but no this is not this is not good so as you can see, it's quite a struggle to find good city spots, right? Actually, this would be this one would be better if we are willing to invest into this tile, and preferably this one as well. So, but for now, this is definitely the ideal city. And now we are going to we are again at three population, um, and we are going to just repeat the process i guess right because why not it's an honor to meet you there's another city state down there there's india oh and we got a barb camp spawning right down on us so i need to build a war cart instead and this is the power of good production tiles i can get a war cart in six turns that's not going to be possible if I settle a city on one production tiles. And let's go for, I don't know, animal husbandry, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, since it's turn five, I think it's actually more beneficial to go move up there. That's my mistake. I should have done it long before. Now, see here. This is culture, so this is probably some... So is would the, this is a good question. Would this be a good city spot? Because it has loads of extra production, right? Well, yes, but if you can get to food. And how will you get to food? Well, you have, you have two options. Well, if you, if you settle this city late, you're probably going to struggle with getting, for example, a Temple of Artemis up, although it's possible on lower difficulty levels. So, if you're in this situation, I would actually suggest placing the city here. Why here? Because you still get access to all these good tiles, these good production tiles. And you can also put a farming triangle down right here. It's not as good as it could have been, right? But at least you can do it. It's close enough. And we met another city-state. And yeah, there is the natural wonder. So 
even so the question is for example let's say this is the fourth city right would this city be better off like being closer to the natural wonder to get the era score well sure it would but don't neglect your city quality placement just for just for uh, era score it's simply not worth it okay so thanks to our investment into exploration units we are actually making enough cash to make this city spot a, a very good second city spot although it wasn't designed to be so and I'm just scouting right now nothing else being done and this this settler could have been like two turns earlier there but what we, what can we do it's not our fault that we got a barb camp spawned right under our feet. There. Second city done. And now because we have what we need, we can actually go ahead and buy these tiles, right? So now this city is as good as our capital. If we want, we can really buy this tile as well. And that's it. Now it can do whatever you need it to do. In this case, it's much more beneficial to go with war cards because we are Sumeria. Um, let's work on, I don't know, bronze version, I guess. And craftsmanship, maybe. And we have... I'll just take the first one. There we go. Okay. And now, let's build our third city. In nine turns. Okay. For, for the sake of this game, um, I'm not going to use this worker because I want to leave things as is, right? There's Coupe. Excellent. We got the volcano I was talking about. It did damage my unit, but it also damaged the camp, which is far more interesting for me. It says major victory, but I don't want to risk it. I will heal up, he won't. Okay. And now we got a population point, but it's not really important, right? We know why we did it. So, as you can see, our second city is working only two tiles. I didn't invest into anything, into workers or monuments. It's already cranking out war cards really quickly. And it's going to grow in six turns. And three turns till this fine gentleman gets out and we finished bronze working okay and now we have to take care of this why this young man here okay thanks for the way and this one as well Ouch, did anyone get killed? No, not really. Oh, it's this one that exploded, okay. Very active volcanoes, although I didn't set it to strength four. And now you have three cities which are going to be as productive or more 
in your capital and yeah now you can finally start building your campus right it would take five turns why five turns well because you're working awesome tiles <laughs> that's all to it right if you want uh, this will grow in three turns to pop three and i will actually well i got lucky with stuff like this right here but this is a random game you saw it for yourself so um I'm going to move down there and hopefully um, the city-state won't block my placement. I'm really not taking into consideration any of these, I'm not trying to play this game, just trying to show the city placement. Okay, two more turns, right? And uh, astrology, whatever. No. There we go. Okay. So I might. I also forgot to switch off from craftsmanship. That's fine. Okay. So it's turn. It's turn forty-two. And I got three cities. And as you can see, most of them are going to be really, really good. Hmm? We can eat it also by this style because why not? Okay, so now you have three cities. And what's your total production without even investing into worker turn right it's two four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six so these cities can to in total they can produce twenty six production between themselves now imagine if i settle this city, this city here for example, and here, but without purchasing these tiles, right? I would have three total production instead of two, four, six, seven. And the same is true here. I would have two production at start and then three production, or maybe I would work this style, but I would be struggling. This way I'm growing and having awesome production. And that's the whole trick, right? Because now I can do whatever I want. I can crank out a campus in 12 turns. If I, if, if I improve this, I'm going to get it down to 10, right? So what am I doing? I'm getting whatever I need really quickly. And it's turn 42. So now I can, if I want to, I can build war cards in six turns. I can build war cards in five turns, right? Well, this city will soon grow also because it's even growing even faster. So this city will also be able to produce war cards in six turns very, very soon. So in like 20, 24 turns, I'll have an army of war cards. And by turn 100, this sieve here, whichever it is, will get conquered. Um, so yeah. This is how you start on higher difficulty levels. You look for perfect city locations for the first three cities. Thank you for watching.